Just one day after they had a Boeing admitted the company made a mistake in last week's terrifying incident involving an Alaska Airlines plane. A Boeing source says the mistake likely occurred in the manufacturing supply chain, but further details haven't been explained yet. The image of this gaping hole in the Alaska 737 MAX 9 shook Boeing CEO Dave Calhoun. I didn't know what happened to whoever was supposed to be in the seat next to that hole in the airplane. I got kids, I got grandkids, and so do you. We're going to approach this, number one, acknowledging our mistake. We are going to approach it with 100% and complete transparency every step of the way. Yeah, this is the video that had all of us stopping to look last Friday. A flight carrying 177 people made an emergency landing shortly after takeoff from Portland when part of the plane's fuselage broke loose, left that gaping hole there in the side of the plane. Jessica Montoya was one of the passengers aboard. And as soon as we landed, the paramedics were in, the fire department was in checking who was injured and, you know, and they were, they were fabulous and, and, and it was a trip from hell. Yeah, no kidding. So if you've been casually following the headlines the past few days, easy to focus more on the shock of something as terrifying as this and less on the reasons behind why it happened. It essentially comes down to power bolts fused into the door, which ultimately here failed, causing it to fly off the aircraft mid-flight. New animations of the Boeing 737 MAX 9 depict these stop pads, bolts, and hinges. The National Transportation Safety Board, the NTSB, is studying to determine why the plug blew out of that aircraft. Boeing CEO is acknowledging the near catastrophic incident on board the Alaska Airlines flight was the company's mistake. And as you heard, he promised 100% transparency every step of the way. CBS's Chris Van Cleve continues our coverage tonight about the effort to return the 737 MAX 9 planes to the skies. It appears it's all about the bolts. Investigators are increasingly focused on the four powerful bolts that should have kept the door panel from flying off this 737 MAX 9. They're unaccounted for. We have not yet determined if they existed there. So if the bolts are there, the door doesn't move up, which means it doesn't fly off. Yes, if the bolts are there, it prevents the door from translating upwards and disengaging from the stop fittings. And flying off the plane. And flying off the plane. Okay. Sometimes called a door plug, the panel replaces an optional emergency exit. It's visible from the exterior, but inside appears as a normal cabin window. Both Alaska and United are finding some with loose bolts on their now grounded planes. United saying it believes it's an installation issue. If you can't trust the manufacturer to tighten those bolts, can you trust them to tighten all the other bolts in the airplane? Right now, we are focused on the evidence. We deal only with facts and we're going to have to look at this aircraft. We will go broader if we need to. CBS News has learned investigators want to know if Boeing has received damaged door plugs from its supplier. A month ago, a federal complaint by former employees of that supplier, Spirit Aerosystems, alleged the company's products frequently contained defects. How comfortable would you be getting on a 737 MAX today? I flew on two 737 MAXs to get from Washington, D.C. to California yesterday. Billy Nolan is the former acting FAA administrator. Is there a sufficient amount of FAA oversight of Boeing and its suppliers today? I would argue that there is, but I would say as we go through this, is there something additional? So this is the right case to ask ourselves these questions. What have we missed and what else should we be doing? Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Portland. A lot more to learn. We'll keep following it. Coming up next here on On Your Side Tonight.